Today on this edition of Life After Sight Loss TV, we're going to talk about how to customize your control center in iOS 11. What's up VIPs, Derek here back with another edition of Life After Sight Loss TV where it's all about helping you discover life after sight loss. On this channel we do product reviews, life advice, encouragement, how to's and so much more. So if you're new here and that sounds good to you, consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss another single video. Recently Apple sent out their brand new operating system for the iPhone and the iPad which is iOS 11. Now iOS 11 brings some brand new functionality and features to the iPhone which are great and maybe we'll cover more in another video but today we're talking about customizing your control center. Now what is control center? Well real quick it is the part of the phone where you swipe up and you get some different functionality. Now the nice thing about this control center on iOS 11 is it looks different, it's got a fresh coat of paint if you will, and now they let you customize it. So you can add things like the magnifier, the accessibility shortcut, other accessibility features, and just other features in general to the control center for quick access. So today I thought I'd show you how to customize your control center to add those extra accessibility features. So let's hop on over to the phone and see what it's all about. So here we are with iOS 11. Now iOS 11 has some new wallpapers, fancy stuff here. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the phone and see what this is all about. Now, how to access Control Center with VoiceOver, real quick tip. Make sure that you are in the status bar with your, you know, um, cursor, and then swipe up with three fingers. And that brings up the Control Center. So the Control Center has some new fancy stuff, but down here at the bottom, it's got some customizable buttons. So let's get out of this and let's go into Settings. All right, find out where we are. That's where we want to be. I was really lucky to press that control center. Uh, it is two above general. Okay, control center, double tap. Now, let's swipe. You can access within apps. And now we have customized controls. So double tap. Then it's going to give us what we want to include. So I've got flashlight selected and then it says reorder flashlight. Now I can double tap and hold and move it up and down to determine where I want it to come in the list. I'm not going to worry about that right now, but we'll swipe again. Let's see. I got my alarm here. I got a calculator. I've got my camera. I've put a magnifier in there. And I put my Apple TV remote in there as well. Now here's where you can add things. More controls. So let's see what else we can add. Accessibility shortcut. Now, you heard before that. Insert accessibility shortcuts. So whatever you have set for the accessibility shortcut, that will be that. So it'll bring up voiceover or zoom or magnifier or whatever else. Uh, so if you have multiple things set to the triple click of the home, that's what will be there. I only have voiceover set, so that's all it will give me. Insert do, not disturb while driving. insert do not disturb while driving. Insert guided access. Guided access. Guided insert low power mode. Button. Low power mode. Insert notes. Button. Notes. Button. 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 Insert screen recording. Screen recording. Screen. Insert stopwatch. Button. Stopwatch. Button. Insert text size. Text button. size. Button. Insert timer. Button. Timer. Button. Insert voice memos. Voice memos. Voice mem insert wallet. Wallet. Button. 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 And that is it. So all you have to do is, let's say I wanted to insert, uh, let's see, let's go timer. Okay. So I'm going to double tap on insert timer, and it's going to add it up at the top. So let's go back up. So timer's now at the bottom. So let's go out of here and see, go back up here to the status bar, swipe up with three fingers. Now at the bottom, there's my timer. So all you have to do is go in there, select what you want, it's gonna add it to the bottom, and if you want it in a different order, just remember to reorder it by clicking and then dragging uh, there on the menu. But that's pretty much it. All you gotta do, select the status bar, swipe up with three fingers, and there's your control center. So it's pretty cool. Search around if you haven't downloaded it yet and see what you can do within the control center.
So there you go, guys. A quick way to add magnifier and other things to the control center for quick access. I really appreciate it because now I use the triple click on my phone for voiceover and I swipe up if I want to use magnifier. So check it out. If you've got an iDevice, an iPhone, an iPad, something like that, if you've updated to iOS 11, go ahead and customize your control center and use those quick features right now. So my question for you today is, have you updated to iOS 11? And if so, have you customized your control center? What did you put down there? I'd love to hear about it, and I know others would as well, so let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with somebody you know, and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss another single video. Thanks for watching this edition of Life After Sight Loss TV, and until next time, remember, sight loss isn't the end, it's just the beginning. My name is Derek Daniel from lifeaftersightloss.com, and I'll see you in the next one.